Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Eee, I look a little dreadful today, but I really wanted to get this video up for you. It's a uh, cute Valentine video, um, nail art, using some new, actually a polish that I don't think I've ever used before, and my She Modern things. So I just wanted to show you a little technique and some tics, tips and tricks on how to color it in with gel. So let's get started. First, we're going to um, start out with some tips and tricks on how to color these in using gel nail polish. Okay, so first of all, I have tried using this with three different um, gel nail wipe top coats. I feel like Goldilocks and the three bears here. <laughs> okay, so um, at first I was using Wave Gel and I couldn't get it to work. I could not get it to work at all. It just was this big, hard piece of yuck. And it wouldn't even come off the plastic. So that was like an ultimate fail. Then I tried Madam Glam and it was really a big, hard piece of whatever that came off the things, but it, you couldn't put it on your nail because it was this big, flat piece of nail art. So complete fail. And then I tried this, and this was worse than Madame Glam. So, um, Bio CB Gel, nope. So I tried Madame Glam again, making it a little bit thinner. It was a little bit better, but it was really sort of hard. It was still hard. So I went back to Wave Gel, and I'm like, this is, has got to work. What happened was I, um, I was curing it too long. I was curing it for an entire minute, and to get it pliable um, and easy to work with, you need to cure this for 25 to 30 seconds, no more than 30 seconds. Um, this one I did do for 30 seconds, but it still didn't work well. And this one I did for 30 seconds and it didn't work either. So thank goodness my wave gel works. <laughs> now wave gel, um, if you don't have a uh, if your shiny no clean top coat isn't working, do not worry. You can buy wave gel at rushhourbeauty.com and you don't have to pay for shipping. So all you do is have to pay for the polish. I forget how much it is. I'll put it in the description box below. It's like $10.99 or $12 or something like that. I don't know, but there's no shipping. So that's completely awesome. Okay, so now we're going to get to the steps of making this. So this, this stamper is now my <laughs> my dedicated um, stamper for this because I flipped it upside down and I'm not flipping it back over and keep flipping it, whatever. So you just want it so that you have a flat surface. So there I have it upside down. And then clean off the top with a lint roller, which mine is clean. Okay, you're gonna take out your stickers here and take off the, the protective sheet. Leave that there. Get rid of the backing for right now. And there we have it. So what you're going to want to do is um, cut this into thin strips. And we're just going to use one. So we'll just cut it off right now. And we'll stick it on our little stamper head right here just like that. Now there's this little mixing canvas, which is plastic, and we can use that. Um, I'm just going to put a little dot of gel polish on the canvas. And then I'm going to take a dotting tool, and I'm going to color it in. Very, very simple, pretty quick. And oh, I'm sorry, what I'm using is Wave Gel's Mexican Pink Cake Gel. And that's the color of it, Mexican Pink Cake. And this is beautiful. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you the bottle in a little bit. Sorry I didn't do that. 
You know, you don't want to get a lot on there. You just want to get a little bit. So just make sure that you only put a little bit on there. Otherwise, it gets too hard and won't roll around your finger. So now I'm going to um, gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so that's cured. Now the next step is to take the top coat. You can put just a little bit here. And you're going to want to make sure that you keep this really thin. And you just want to go along the edge. You want to make sure that you get the whole edge of the design or some of it will not come off. Okay, so I got it on the design, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the middle. Keeping it nice and thin. It looks like I got the whole thing. So now I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. Okay, now this is done. And what you want to do is you want to just kind of like scratch at the edge of it. See, I think it's too, I think I need to pick it, pick it up off of here. Because I think this is too squishy. So I'm just going to put it Right here on the little mixing canvas so it's a nice hard surface and I'm just gonna scratch at it and hope really that it comes up oh my gosh it came up guys did you see that <laughs> yay okay it came up and then and then just kind of roll it around your nail and there you go you got your design And the thinner that you get the polish, the more flexible your little heart is. Okay, so now let's get some uh, nail polish on these nails and let's do a design. Oh, but before that, we have to clean up our mixing canvas and I just squirt some alcohol on one of these little cotton pads and wipe it right up. Okay. We're ready to go. Not too bad. Okay, for the um, hearts, I used Mexican Pink Cake by Wave Gel. It comes with the um, regular lacquer and the gel. And on my ring finger, I used Mulberry. Also comes in a matching set. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this Mexican Pink Cake. I'm not sure the camera is getting this. Um, it's more of like a fuchsia color. On my camera, it looks like it's coming up in more of an orangey color, but it isn't. It's like a pink fuchsia color. And it's amazing. It looks kind of like a jelly. Um, so I'm really, I'm really loving this polish. I think this is, might be the first time I've ever actually wore it. I think I swatched it, but I haven't wore it since. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the tacky layer off my ring finger. We're just going to do a really quick, quick and easy mani here. So we're going to remove the tacky layer. Then you're just going to lightly buff the surface. Just give it a little light buff to take off the shine. It's for the nail glue I'm going to use. I'm just going to use a glue because I think the, the decals I, I made yesterday might have been a little thick. So I want them to stick on there really good. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the nail glue. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put some nail glue on that you would use if you were doing foils. Okay, the little foil art comes with this waxy sheet of paper now. Um, so that if you want to um, color a bunch of them and put a little foil glue on the back, you can stick them to this waxy paper and um, use it. And then as far as the rest of these little stickers, you can just put those back in the little poly bag. If you can actually lift up the, uh, the little protector. I'm going to sandwich it in here and put it away. Okay, we're also going to need this little flattener here. And each package of whatever you buy comes with three of these. Okay, this looks like it's dry. So now I'm going to pick off one of these. Oh, it just slid off. It slid off because it wasn't on there because I already picked it off. <laughs> so I don't think there's like anything wrong with it. It's just like us playing with it. Okay. So I'm just going to press it down around my nail. I'm going to take the flattener and I'm just going to flatten it down. Now the thinner that you do yours, um, the thinner that you do your sticker, decal, whatever, the the thinner that you put your gel on, the thinner your little decoration is going to be. Okay, there we go. Okay, so then the last step, the last step is just to put some top coat on to seal it in. And you want to make sure that you're getting around all sides of your design so it doesn't lift up, which probably would be easier if mine wasn't lumpy, but <laughs> well, whatever. Okay, so now I'm just going to cure that and then I'll come back. Okay, I wanted to show you this one because this one actually came out right. This was the one that I... This is the one that I got right, and it, it's really, really thin. Well, you can barely even see that. And I'm just going to put it on like this. And curve it. See, that one's not sticking up so much. I'm going to take this flattener, go flatten that down. <laughs> okay, go flatten that down, guys. It's hard for me to do this left hand. <laughs> uh, I should put this sticker on the other hand. I didn't, didn't realize that. This one was better. Look at that. That is a work of art. Look at that. Completely beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to put some top coat on that and we'll come right back and take a finished look. Okay, so here's the finished look. Now I do see like a little bit and that's, that's the gel. I must have gotten out of the line a little bit. So if you do that, you probably just might want to trim that off before you stick it on your nail. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, this is like the first, really the first time that I, that I got it. So I'm really pretty excited about this. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and um, keep an eye out because I've got some new ideas never seen before on how to color these in. So, um, so look for those this weekend. Bye for now.